An update to a previous video, AT&T is outlining their plans to leverage streetlights for 5G coverage. So I covered this in a video, I'd say probably about five or six months ago. And at the time, the details from carriers were scarce, but the release came from OEMs, the vendors who actually develop, engineer, and then build and manufacture the products. These are 5G small cells that are located on top of street lights. They're actually built into the lights themselves. So let me explain to you guys what AT&T is going to be doing and why they're doing it. So for those of you that know, 5G infrastructure is really difficult in certain cities and municipalities. The hard part comes with permitting and installation. A lot of times, like in the case of New York City, in the state of New York, generally speaking, it's very difficult to create a design that the cities are cool with. You know, they take umbrage and they take issue with, you know, things looking bulky and ugly and being an eyesore. So they have to have their part in the design. Well, in this case, now you're going to build the design of the hardware actually into the actual site where the street lamps are, you know, for the lights. So they're going to design it, integrate it all completely. They're going to run the fiber through the light poles and power it with the power for the light poles, completely streamlining the infrastructure process. This is the Ericsson Street Radio 4402. So it's probably not just going to be AT&T. Verizon will get involved. I think eventually at some point T-Mobile should too, eventually, who knows when. But I can see AT&T and Verizon going in really hard with this, almost sort of abandoning the CRAN process. All right, so up until this point, they've had to put up the antennas, the radios, all the gear. It's all bulky and it's on the side of the poles and all that. Now you're going to put everything at the top of the light pole. It won't even be noticeable by people. So you won't be seeing the vandalism. You won't be seeing the NIMBY issues. Uh, you'll see the permitting process will be completely, pretty much instantly approved. And uh, it's going to completely streamline the space requirement that it takes. And, and this is going to be really good. So when I was looking through the story, I figured, you know, AT&T and Verizon would be the first to take it up. And uh, here we are. So this is going to bring incredible capacity and speeds, ultra low latencies, wireless fiber type experiences here. You know, you could put these in front of venues, in front of concerts, you know, where, where they have these types of things. Uh, as well as schools. I could see this happening in parking lots. I mean, pretty much anywhere. If there's light poles, they can do this. And in places where the permitting is challenging and the municipalities like to push back, they really can't say anything to this. It becomes no issue whatsoever. I'm very excited about this. I've already seen the pictures of the hardware. I'll see if I can find a picture or the original story to this, and then I'll post it here either in the description box or in the comment section below. You guys excited about this? I'm glad to see it's AT&T and not just Verizon taking this stuff seriously. Very exciting. Your thoughts and opinions, welcome down below. You are the voice of the people of the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Uh, please do like and share this video. Subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notifications to never miss an upload. Links in the description for my Patreon page. Support us there. Early access to content and exclusives not found anywhere else. Discounts and promotions on most mobile. Best, best access in the game. Best prices in the game. And my Twitter and email are in the description as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.